Hello, <laughs> welcome to my channel. It's Jojo. So today we have a full face of e.l.f. We've got putty bronzers and blush, uh, some eyeshadow, eyebrow gel, got a fun little donut sponge to try. I got two things from their Dunkin' Donut collab, this and then the, the putty bruh, putty primer, which fell back there, so. Um, and then mascara, eyeliner, foundation. We've got a few things to try today. So if you would like to see how these e.l.f. products turned out, just keep on watching. Okay, we are back with a damp donut. Um, I have no clue how this is gonna apply foundation because it's very big. But, and I don't know if there's a difference of like the textures, I don't think so. Okay, let's just try it out. I'm going to use the putty primer. Don't forget primer. Oh, donut. Donut forget primer. I feel like it doesn't smell super sweet, which I like. I was worried that it was gonna try to smell like donuts, so. I don't know how much to use. I've actually never used the putty primer. And I know this is like a fan favorite. Oh yeah, I definitely need more. I have no clue how to even like put this on. It's a very interesting primer. I don't know if it's different formula or color or smell or anything compared to the original. I feel like I can't tell a huge like, I can't notice anything right away from putting that on. Okay, we are gonna go in with the foundation now. This is Flawless Satin Foundation Oil Free Medium Coverage in the color Pearl with neutral undertones. Okay, <laughs> it's open now. I'm gonna apply a little to the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm a little worried because it's so big. Um, I think the foundation has like a little scent to it. Not, I don't even know if it's like supposed to have a scent where it's just like the um, ingredients that are in it. It's not my favorite though. It's blending it out decently. <laughs> like the finish looks nice, but this is so big, it's kind of hard to maneuver around the face. I don't know, I mean, it, it's working, but it's like just weird to hold. <laughs> and like, how am I supposed to get in that, my under eye? crevice okay now that everything is nicely blended out with the brush i'm just gonna press over everything with this little this little sponge it feels really nice so it's like super soft and bouncy i think we're done for now with that put the donut sponge down this foundation so far looks pretty nice. Um, we are gonna go in with putty blush and putty bronzer, which I'm a little worried about. The shade names are in the on the boxes. So this putty bronzer is in Honey Drip and the blush is Bora Bora. So I don't even know how I should apply this. Probably, I think I'm just gonna go in with this. Let's see, we're gonna do a little swatch. Okay, it doesn't seem... That feels pretty nice. Oh, it kind of dries down like powdery almost. Ooh, okay, now I'm excited. <laughs> like, look, that actually looks pretty. Okay, I was worried because a putty bronzer sounds interesting. Um, okay... I don't know her. I just don't want it to get too messy because this might be, ooh, this might be a little too big of a brush. Okay, I might, I'm gonna try this brush on the other side of my forehead. 
and that looks like a lot of product. Um, yeah, I feel like this almost applies more like a powder bronzer than a cream bronzer because it dries down very powdery. Like when you go to blend it out, I feel like this motion works better than like patting it on. It's kind of what I mean about it applying more like a powder bronzer. That's really pretty though. I do like that. Um, I'm just gonna keep bathing in it until we have a bronzer helmet. I am just pressing over everything with my foundation brush. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there. I feel like this side looks a little bit better than this side. I don't wanna add more, but here we are. Okay, this is actually really good. So, let's go in with some blush now. I'm gonna use this little dense brush. Okay, that's a cute blush. I do like the color. It's a very, a very pinky pink. Like it doesn't have really any coral or mauve undertones. I feel like it's just a pink pink. <laughs> I'm starting on my cheekbone and then kind of just blending it into the apples of my cheek and up. I do like how this blush applied and let's get into the eyes now. So I just have this tiny little palette, which I'm really excited about because this would be so good for trips, for your car, for your purse, for your uh, makeup bag, gym bag, whatever. It just has like the perfect basic shades that you would need. I'm just going to start with the very first shade, the lightest shade. And I'm putting that all over. Okay, so I think I'm going to do more of a basic eye look today. Just because of the colors we have. And I just want to do a nice little everyday look with this. So the next color I'm going to dab into is this one they look very similar but i feel like this one is a little warmer and it looks like this one's a little bit cooler toned so i'm going into that second shade and i'm just gonna darken up the corner Ooh, i like that i like it i like it I really like how these are blending out. The pigment is nice. It's not crazy pigmented, but I feel like they're pretty forgiving. So that's kind of nice. Like you can get kind of a lot and then pack it on and it blends out pretty nicely. Like I said, there could be a little more pigment and like it's a pretty powdery formula, it feels like. But blending it out is nice because it blends out pretty effortlessly. I really like that. Wow. These aren't new products from e.l.f. 
They're just products that I have not tried before. I will definitely be keeping this as like a little all-in-one travel palette. Okay, now I'm going to take this little tight lining brush and I'm going to go into the darkest shade and just pressing that in the outer corner. So before I blend that out, I'm going to go in with this eyeliner brush and I'm dabbing it in that dark shade and I'm just gonna try to create like a little wing just a very soft very soft wing I don't know if you can hear my stomach but I'm so hungry we are gonna go have some lunch right after this. Okay. I really like that. It's a super subtle wing, but I like that. Um, I'm gonna go into this, this lighter brown right here and blend out the bottom, the lower lower lash line okay I'm just kind of stamping that color on and then with a little bit of a fluffier brush I'm just gonna take the same one that we used with nothing on it and kind of flick that out just to soften it up a little bit I'm just gonna mix these two colors and go kind of all over just to re-blend that out. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna take this little crayon and we're just gonna go right on the inner corner. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take this little brush and just blend it out. It's very, very creamy, which not a bad thing, but. Okay, hopefully it doesn't like transfer all over the place. So I'm just drawing a little bit on the lid and then kind of moving it where I want more specifically with the brush. Okay, now time for eyeliner on the waterline. Okay, I'm back already. And this feels like it tugs. Like it does not go on easily or smoothly. I've had to go back and forth and there's like nothing on my eyelid, so I don't know. Or not eyelid, waterline. See? It's like very faint. Okay, so I was gonna do top and bottom, but this is just too, too difficult to do that, I think. So bottom it is. It looks good now, but it's, you just have to go back and forth to like get color on the waterline. So don't love that. And now my eyes feel irritated. <laughs> um, okay. I, oh my God. Yeah. My eyes do not like that. Um, eyeliner. Okay. I bent a spoolie and I've got to see how I want to use this. So we're going to go, I just made that mark. I'm going to go right in to this little thing and just brush them. Oh, oh no. I don't know if I like this. Oh, it feels so thick. Okay, now is the shaping part. So I just brush them all up like this. And this has this glue fucking gel type shit on it. 
Oh, I hate the feeling. I'm gonna take one with nothing on it and go over it just to, so it's not adding more product. And I'm gonna kind of shape them how I want them to stay because I obviously do not want them up like that. I feel like I'm running out of time. I feel like it's, my brows are getting harder. Okay, um, they look very feathery today, a little bushy. I think we're going to stay with that. I don't want to fuck with them too much because, like, I don't want to mess with the product I just put on there. Okay. <laughs> Why do I feel like that made my eyebrows look bigger? Whew. We're going to leave them there for now. Um... The product so far isn't bad. It's just not what I'm used to using on my eyebrows. So going to this very sticky gel is just different for me, but not necessarily bad. I just have to get used to using it. And okay, I think I did a little bit, a little bit too much in this brow because I just fucking went right in. I would wipe a little on the back of your hand first. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Okay, lashes are curled and now we're gonna try Big Mood. Oh, I like the wand. The wand is promising. Ooh, I really like that already. I know you can't really see. I like that it feels like a very lightweight formula like it's not sticky and thick and chunky and I really like that especially because this wand is a lot bigger okay the lashes are done and this is really pretty this is a really pretty mascara I'm a fan so I'm gonna lightly set my face I didn't get a setting powder from elf so I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty I am gonna go back in with a little bit more blush just to brighten them up a little bit before I finish the look. Okay. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Apparently I didn't get anything for my lips there, so I am just gonna put on a little gloss and that is the look let's set it let's go over some shit so let's start with the putty primer that was okay i don't know i didn't feel like it excuse me i don't feel like it did anything huge or crazy so I don't know if I'll use that a whole bunch. This foundation, this is a good option if you like something on the lighter side. It definitely, like, it doesn't look cakey, which is nice. I don't feel like I have a thick layer of foundation on. You probably could also build it up a little bit. And it's medium coverage with a satin finish, which you gotta love a satin finish. And I feel like it looks, it makes my skin look really nice. So I do like this. On to... The Putty Bronzer and Blush. They actually turned out really good. Uh, this is not that. Hold on. Bronzer and Blush. Um, I do really like this blush a lot. It just looks nice and glowy and natural. And same with this applied pretty well. I was a little worried. But it's not like gooey and liquidy. It's more of like a cream to powder kind of is what it felt like to me. So I feel like they went on really nice and it, they were easy to blend out, which is awesome. So I do like both of these. And this color is a really nice pink. This um, eye crayon, this was nice. Not my favorite. It looks pretty, but it doesn't, I don't know. It's not like, wow, amazing. Um, onto this little palette. This is awesome. It's super nice. Uh, not extremely pigmented. 
but everything blended out really easily and I love all the colors it comes with. I feel like this is perfect for just a quick and easy everyday eye look. And yeah, this is great. Awesome for, like I said, traveling, anything on the go. It's so small. The eyeliner, I didn't try this on my eyelid because I used the shadow as a little wing. But on my waterline, it was okay. It looks like it's staying pretty well now, but applying it was difficult. I had to like go back and forth. And if you're sensitive on your waterline, that's not, you know, it'll irritate your eyes. So I probably wouldn't use this as my go-to on my waterline. This is, it's cool. It's cute. You know, it's cute and fun, but not practical for me because of how big it is. Like I just feel weird putting it all like really like using it on my face but I like the texture of it it's like super soft and bouncy um again though just kind of a weird shape and size the um eyebrow gel it looks like she's locking them in it's gonna get it's gonna take a second to get used to this just because I'm used to using like a gel in this form, you know, where you just pull it out and swipe it on. Whereas this is a little different. So I'm gonna go in with less product next time. And, but they look good. I mean, I think this is last. The mascara, I really liked this. It's just a nice, pretty, easy mascara. It combs them out nicely. It's not clumpy or chunky. And it just makes them look really nice and pretty, so. I do like this a lot. I think that is all. I genuinely liked most of these products. The only ones that I'm iffy about are the putty primer, this eyeliner, and then this is just gonna take some getting used to, but I really did like everything. So I'm happy about that and I'm so excited to go get some fucking lunch now because a bitch is hungry. <laughs> but thank you for coming to my channel and thank you for watching this. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see next, and that's all. So, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.